I'm Reese Stein at your leisure at Utah Lake where the fishing's been better, but boy, with weather like this and access so good, nobody's complaining. In the shadow of Lady Timpanogos, Utah Lake isn't always the first choice of most Utah anglers who focus on trout, but it's a gold mine for warm water fish, and every day after school, Joshua Tallman of neighboring Saratoga Springs prowls the boat harbor in search of monsters like this big largemouth bass. That's what you call a bass right there. There's a nice one, John. Woo! Why drive all the way to Lake Powell when you can catch largemouth bass like this right here on the Wasatch Front? This beauty goes four pounds plus. Not bad for mid-January. How's fishing this time of year? Amazing. Except you get all the people down here and catching them. But yeah, it's fun. Nice fat belly on them. He's been eating good. Largemouth bass is the money species here, but Utah Lake has much more, including some nice crappie, bluegill, catfish, walleye, perch, and an abundance of white bass. David Kerneal of Eagle Mountain chases them with his fly rod. I found that they have a better fight than what we can get on the fly rod with other species. And the variety of fish you can get, you can catch a lot of different kinds of fish all in the same spot. I use a variety of techniques. Right now I'm using streamer flies trying to find some of the white bass. They're more aggressive. But I also use a lot of topwater stuff, even things like stimulators and elk hair caddis and catch a lot of the bluegill and largemouth bass and whatnot with those. And when my back was turned, Josh hooks up and lands another plump largemouth. Josh uses a rattle trap minnow imitation. How are you working it? Uh, nice and slow on the bottom. And they pick it up and then, yeah. Once in a while you do a fast retrieve, get them excited. Josh releases all his fish, keeping only photos. Another local, Richard Stevens, has had his share of big largemouth as well. Big or small, Stevens releases the bass here too. He and Josh are frustrated with what they call the Bucket Brigade, a group of game hogs they've seen carting off buckets full of white bass, bluegill, even largemouth. Between big bass, Tallman likes to toy with the crappie hiding under the dock. He uses an ice fishing rod with a purple jig and the action is non-stop. Although more do get off than stay hooked, but Josh is going to put them back anyway. Oh, that's neat. You don't know what you're going to pull out of this lake. I had no luck keeping dozens of hungry fish on. A little frustrating, but still lots of fun. Utah Lake is well known for an abundance of white bass and Carneal has landed a bunch of big ones this winter on flies. But Carneal got in real trouble last summer getting plenty of bites he didn't want. Fishing was phenomenal. I was catching lots and lots of smallmouth bass. When the mosquitoes started showing up, I didn't care too much because the fishing was crazy good. Yeah. And then about a week later, I was extremely sick. Neil was stricken with one of only two cases of West Nile virus in Utah last year and was sick for a month. He's still bugged by the disease and warns anglers. So you want to wear long sleeve shirts, long pants, um, and then cover whatever else is out with insect repellent. No matter how crazy good the fishing is, Reese Stein at your leisure on Utah Lake. Hey guys, if you like that video, you're going to want to watch all of our other AYL videos. You're going to want to like it, you're going to want to share it, and you're going to want to subscribe, right? See all the buttons right here? <laughs> this is what you're going to want to do, click, right? Click, click, click. on them, because we have some really cool videos, all kinds of behind the scenes stuff, bloopers of Alicia crashing and stuff. Why are you going to sell me out like that, Steven? So you want to click all of these things and subscribe to our channel, because At Your Leisure is awesome, and uh, we'll see you here for more videos.